If you're a fan of hard cider, make a trip to Mount Horeb to sample some of the best. A new cider pub opened there earlier this year. Madison Magazine's Andrea Belling checked out Brick Cider for this month's Tastemaker segment. We source our apples from a bunch of different Wisconsin orchards, so they're all local ciders, locally grown ciders. Um, this very first one here is um, from Appleberry Farm over in Cross Plains, and this one is just apples. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a crisp, light, easy drinking cider. Um, mostly heirloom apples on mostly, that one. Yep. Yeah. And we tend to go dry with most, most of our ciders. Um, that's just the way we like it, and we're finding a lot of customers like it that way, too. And this is a raspberry flavor? Yeah, so that one we steep whole raspberries in. It has that nice rosé color. Yeah, it's pretty. And, uh, but it's also dry, kind of like a rosé wine. Um, this says wild here. So that one, we foraged wild apples. Oh. Uh, so that's apples that came up from sea that you'll find on fence rows or in pastures or... A lot in the Driftless region. If you drive through the Driftless region in, in the spring, you'll see all these beautiful trees in flower. And a lot of them are either wild plums or mostly wild apples. Oh, cool. We've got a couple really nice orchards that we've um, kind of found and made friends with the farmers. And they love having us out there. And I think they get a kick out of it. And it's funny how different the colors are from, from right. cider to yeah, cider. Yeah, the apples, apples can make a difference for sure. Are the different batches to totally different from batch to batch with yep. the wild? Yeah, from with the wild. And actually, we have yet to... to recreate a batch of cider so every time we do something it's different oh that's which i fun. think is really fun and it I, i'm hoping it keeps us interested and kind of keeps us experimenting with things so you know you could come in month to month and those those ciders on the board are going to change get something new every yeah, time sure and then this last one here old the fashioned. wisconsin old fashioned so that one is our play on a on a classic wisconsin old fashioned so we brandy old fashioned brand of yeah. course a brandy old fashioned we're in wisconsin right. so that one we ate Aged in brandy barrels from Driftless Glen Distillery up in Baraboo, a newer distillery up there. And then we steeped in Door County cherries, some orange peel, and splashed in bitters. That is delicious, and you definitely get that brandy old-fashioned yeah. taste. Yeah, so that was kind of a fun, I don't know, experiment. But people seem to like it, so it was fun to make, too. Yeah. All right, now we have a bunch of awesome-looking plates on the table <laughs> here. Can you can you kind of tell go around the table and tell me what we have here? So what you've got is a, is a hot link. And a maple hot link. A maple, a maple hot, hot link. Hot I'm sorry, you're right. It's a maple hot link. And you guys make your own sausages. We here, make right? our own sausages. That's and cool. then we've got um, our house-made ricotta plate. Mm. Um, so this is another great Bergere invention. One day he's like, I'm going to make ricotta. So he did. And so now we do this So you make your own ricotta, too. He makes too. the ricotta, wow. yeah. And then he makes this great carrot jam, which are two words I had I not here. put in together. Yeah, yeah. Carrot jam. Carrot jam, and it's it's great. You throw the scallions on top. We toast up a little, you know, bread from what wasn't used the day before, and it's a great little appetizer. Wow. We've got small kids, so we've got a kid's menu. Uh. Apple slices, grilled cheese, we do an all-beef hot dog, you know, stuff that your kid's going to eat. Kid-friendly tap kid room Kid-friendly, yeah. Soup. We got squash and black bean soup here. Um, so a great bowl of soup, vegan options on the menu also. Um, I want to make sure I point out Hallie Webking's beautiful carrot cake. It's beautiful. Yep. Well, thank you guys so much for having us in. Um, and coming. welcome to the Mount Horeb, Horeb community here. Thanks. Thank you. And Andrew's here. Now, this is becoming a thing, these cider, hard, hard cider places. Yeah, yep. They might be the first cider, bona fide cider pub that has a really robust food menu, too. They came right out of the gate with amazing food, amazing cider, great atmosphere, and this everything about this new tap room is the fruits of their labor. <laughs> no pun intended. They there. grow a lot of their apples locally, is that right? At yeah. a farm in Barneveld? Is that yes. what I read? Yep, they have a farm in, Barne um, in near Barneveld um, that they've been running since 2014, and they have over a hundred apple varieties wow. um, that they just test test out and they're really scientists in, in that regard but they then source from 18 um, local farms for the apples they use for their and ciders. Every batch is different. 
Yeah, yep, every, and I thought that was crazy. The wild ones that they forage, the wild apples, yeah, every single batch is going to be a little nuanced and, and different than the than the one before. And hard cider, of course, is alcohol. has alcohol yes. in it. Yeah. Yep, yep, but this is definitely like a family-friendly place, too. They've got like a little kid area, and so it's, you can bring the whole family. It's a great place. Sort of like wine, the alcohol content of wine. Yes, and not like the, the kind of sh like sugary, sour uh, ciders yeah. that you think of. Um, it's more of a dry wine like they said. And to get a flight like that and try all the different varieties is a great idea. Yes, and they're so different from yeah. each other. It's cool That's to great. taste them. Check it out. And yeah. Check out Madison Magazine for more on this. And yes. there it is, the color issue. Andy, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks, well, Andy. Well, the yeah. final check your forecast coming up.